Okay, so now this is part two of uh, molecular orbital theory and secular determinants. Uh, a very simple introduction, part two. And what we're going to think about is the H3 molecule, putting three hydrogens together. Normally we have H2, H3 is a, a bit strange. And we're going to consider two different um, configurations. We could imagine H3 to be linear, like so, with one, two, three, laid out like this. Or we could imagine it to be a triangular system, like so, one, two, three. Now, secular determinants, well, if you're playing along as you're watching this, I suggest that you pause for video now and try and figure out what the secular determinants are. But we're going to use the rules we had before from Huckle theory over here, bottom left. So with 1 and 1, we have alpha minus E. 1 and 2, they're adjacent, so we have beta. 1 and 3, they're not adjacent. So H13 is 0. And S13 is 0, so that's just a 0. Again, we have uh, for 1, 2, and 3. Now, 2 is adjacent to 1 and 3, so we get betas here and here. And with itself, we get E alpha minus E. And 3, again, is not adjacent to 1, so we get 0 beta alpha minus E. In fact, I am going to redraw that again using the notation we had for X. Uh, just next over here. And so what we have now is we have x1, 0, 1, x1, 0, 1, x. Okay, so that's for the linear one. For the triangular one, what we have is, well, if you uh, want to figure this out, pause the video and uh, do it. So we have x1, 1. One. Now all of them are adjacent to each other, so we have this sort of system here. These are all equal to zero, so now we have some 3 by 3 determinants to solve. Now row and column operations are really useful here. Uh, so for the row, what we're going to do for this um, determinant here, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to take row 1 away from row 3. So we're going to take row 1 away from row 3. And what we're going to get, well, the top rows, top, well, first row and second row stay the same. We're going to take this row away. And we get minus x, 0x. Now, when you're solving determinants, you can do as many row and column operations as you want, and you don't change the determinant, which is really useful. So the next thing we do is we add column 3 to column 1, and we get x, 2, and uh, 0, because x plus minus x is 0, and then 1x0 and 01x. And what that does is it gives us uh, zeros in the bottom left hand part of that matrix. Now we can actually split up the determinant like so because of these zeros here. And that is simply now, that is simply equal to. The following. It's just equal to this determinant from the top left hand corner multiplied by x, which is equal to x squared minus 2 uh, times x. Again, what we're going to say is that use the difference of two squares, although 2 is not normally thought of as a square number. It's a square of root 2, so that's x plus root 2, x minus root 2, and x. So, uh, and that gives us energies of alpha plus root 2 beta 
alpha minus root 2 beta and alpha. I should have gone through the step to say that x is equal to 0 or plus or minus root 2. And then we get the energies. OK, let's have a quick look at our triangular molecule. So uh, here uh, we're again going to do row and column operations, but this time we're going to take uh, row uh, 1 away from uh, row 2 and row 3. So what we get, top row stays the same, but then we get 1 minus x here and uh, x minus 1 and 0 and 1 minus x here and 0 and x minus 1 here. And now what we do is we add column 2 and or add columns 2 and 3 to column 1 and if we add 2 and 3 so we get x plus 2 1 1 uh, if we add x minus 1 to 1 minus x then we get 0 there we get 0 also down here, we've already got a 0 here, and that doesn't change. We've got x minus 1 and x minus 1. Now, when we have one sort of side of the matrix like that to be all 0, then that means that um, the determinant can, can immediately just, it's just a product of everything along the leading diagonal. So it's just x plus 2 times x minus 1 and x minus 1, which means that x is equal to minus 2 plus 1 and plus 1, which means the energy is equal to alpha plus 2 beta, alpha minus beta, and alpha minus beta. Okay. So what we've done there is we've solved two um, secular determinants. We've drawn up two secular determinants for these two forms of hydrogen, three uh, as a molecule. What we're going to do in the next um, video is we're going to draw out molecular orbital diagrams using those energies and think about uh, bond order and the energy of the electrons.